What up, Planko fam? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Planet Coaster here in Vista View. Uh, continuing the trend where we're actually able to build in the park and, and trying to finish up my three-year-old amusement park, if not older than that, I would say. Uh, but anyway, in the last episode, we created Drakenfire, which is the park's wing coaster. Highly themed with a castle kind of fantasy area. We got the dragon on top of up there and uh, Well, I mean you guys got a great look at this in the last episode, so nothing has really changed over here uh, But we are going to head over into the next area Which doesn't actually have a name for this area or any particular kind of theme. It's more of just like a ski resort kind of area, I guess uh, but we're going to go ahead over here to Alpencurse. Uh, yes, Alpencurse is a play on Alpengeist. Uh, I'm using, it's kind of a cross between Alpengeist and Banshee. So we have the, the Banshee kind of drop there into the dive. And then the rest of the coaster just go, does go through a loop that goes over top of the lift hill. But then the rest of it is kind of my kind of creation from there so now for what I've been able to do this week is we finally got the station on Alpen Curse uh, if you guys have been watching the video series you knew that Alpen Curse was one of the first coasters we added to the park one of anyway and it has not had any kind of theming it's not had any kind of station or anything added to it in a long time and it's something I've really intended to do and just never got around to so I'm I'm happy with what I came up with. It wasn't what I wanted to do. It wasn't what my original thoughts were, but I think it looks fine. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, got the idea from just, I was looking through some images and stuff about Alpine lodges and Alpine ski resorts and things like that. And I found one and it didn't exactly look like this, but it gave me the idea for kind of this little tower right here and then the rest of the building kind of came from there so I did want to kind of dive under the station here and then kind of go into a ski resort kind of thing like a, uh, a ski lift where it does go up on this other side over here as you can see and then up the lift hill through the loop up to the top where it then dives down into a valley Round through the loop and we're gonna lose it here in a minute because it's going way too fast I actually slowed it down some too using friction so I think we need to slow it down more I love this coaster this is one of my favorite designs actually I mean it could probably use a bit more smoothing out but I'm fairly happy with it got a nice little area over here from the path where our guests can kind of see it kind of as it flies by and then it goes back into the station right there so let's head back over here now I've been working on trying to finish up most of the theming and stuff on this since Wednesday uh, Planko is now streamed on Twitch on Wednesdays I used to do it on Fridays, and then we start doing it Wednesdays and Fridays so I could get more done. But uh, Fridays, I mean, kind of started becoming kind of dead on my channel. Even playing Planet Coaster, I was only getting like a couple of people. So I've just decided to just kind of maybe cut that out as much, and now we're just playing on Wednesdays. Um, so, and that is actually something that's happening with Planet Coaster everywhere from what I can see. It's all my videos that I do... Uh, and all of the streams and stuff that I do, I'm not getting that many viewers at all on Planet Coaster stuff anymore. I believe it has actually come to the point where Planet Coaster is kind of dying out. Um, not the first time it's happened, but it definitely seems more so now than any other time so far. So if Frontier was going to do any kind of new DLC, now would be the time to do it because people are losing interest in this game. And a lot of that, I think, has to do with Planet Zoo, too, because Planet Zoo is going to be coming out here very soon. So I also think that that's probably a good reason why we're not seeing any DLC is because they've probably got, like, almost all of their creators and stuff from Planet Coaster working crunch time over on Planet Zoo. 
and that's probably why we're not seeing anything from it. But hopefully, um, we will see something soon from Planet Coaster. Uh, my my fingers are still crossed. I don't think it necessarily is. I don't think they've ended support of the game at all. I believe that there is still at least at least one more DLC coming, which will probably be around the anniversary, I'd say. Since Planet Zoo comes out November 5th, I think that they'll probably start working... As soon as beta ends on Planet Zoo, I think maybe they'll take a few people away from that, head back over to Planet Coaster, do maybe a, a new rides pack, probably. That's what I would assume, anyway. I don't know for sure, but that's what I kind of feel is going on. Uh, I do still think that we are definitely going to have some more Planet Coaster DLC, though. I don't know if it's going to continue past this year, but I think we'll see something for the anniversary. Anywho, um, you know, that's just kind of my rant about that. Oh, here we go. Got the flyby right there. I love that. That's one of my favorite things right here. And let's see, we'll just kind of maybe walk around the coaster just a little bit more. You guys have seen this layout many, many times throughout the last couple of years of me working on this park. And nothing has really changed or anything. Uh, it did change a lot, though, from what the original plan for it was to where we are at now with uh, the park, where actually, you know, I had it created originally, Vista View, that is, and I accidentally saved over top of it, so I had to start over, thus Vista View 2.0. And things have changed a lot in the entire park, so just like everything's changed. Uh, some things kind of stayed similar, but everything was pretty much changed at that point. Ah, oh, man, I love this coaster so much. I really, really do. This is probably my favorite coaster in the park, I would say. So we're just going to take one more kind of glance through here. Uh, again, I don't really have a whole lot to show off other than the fact that we've almost got this section over here kind of done. And I was finally able to get the, the station for Alpencurse done. I actually had a few people kind of uh, saying they don't like the name Alpencurse. I think it's a great name. It's uh, A-L-P-E-N and then K U R S E. So Alpencurse. I like it. I think it's very, like, you know, European kind of way of spelling it. And uh, I, it, since it is going to have a very similar theme, kind of like Alpengeist, we got a, uh, a haunted ski lift kind of idea is what I wanted to go with. And I'll probably work on this, the actual lift hill a little bit as well and try to make that look a little bit like a ski lift. But most everything else is done. Uh, just got to do the transfer track and a few other little details and stuff. It's basically it's about the same as uh, Drakenfire over there. I still have more to do, but I did want to kind of you know show you guys what I've been working on. Show off our awesome looking coaster station here, which I think looks quite well. I really do. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like our station for Alpen Curse? Do you like the name Alpen Curse and everything about it? Uh, let me know. And I mean, it's not like I'll probably change anything, but <laughs> uh, I still like to know your comments and stuff though. So anywho, uh, that is going to do it from here in Vista View today. I appreciate you guys watching and I will hope to have a POV of this coaster done probably next month, I would say. Uh, yeah, probably for October. Ooh, speaking of which, October is coming up. My favorite time of the year. Uh, I've got plans for October. I will start revealing those very, very soon. As you remember, last year for October, we did two different projects. We did uh, Crystal Gardens. We finally finished the Haunted Mansion in Crystal Gardens, as well as doing the Raven Wing Coaster, uh, which was kind of a haunted house, kind of graveyard, flyby kind of thing. The station was a haunted house, which took forever to do. Uh, so that's what I did last year for this. I only have like one project for Planet Coaster for this year, and I'll start talking about that soon, but you know, you guys know. October, my favorite time of the year. Love Halloween, so can't wait for, for this year. Uh, I've also got some other stuff coming up for fans of the channel and some other things too. And I hope to have another episode of Phoenix Beach up next week for my Twitch patrons and or my patrons and my Twitch subs, I should say. If you're not already a patron or Twitch sub, then please consider doing so. Uh, it definitely helps me out. It helps the channel out. 
and everything else. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me and my, uh, my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, I'm just going to call it self-indulgence, because <laughs> that's, uh, I, I can't think of the word right now at the moment. Oh, man, I'm, I'm getting old, but I can't remember words. Uh, let's see, I guess we could go over here right before we head out and check out this little viewing area I made here where it drops down into the valley. Not much, but I like it. I love that drop right there. That That's so nice. But, okay, yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, Planko Fam, and I will see you in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks for watching. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell to stay on top of all my new videos and live streaming events here on YouTube. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the names you see on the right for their support through donations, Patreon, and through Twitch subs. If you would like to join their ranks and you are able, you can do so by clicking on any of those links in the video description down below. No worries, though. If you don't like giving away money like that, you can still support the channel by purchasing games or anything through Green Man Gaming, through Humble Bundle, or through Amazon by clicking on my links and making your purchase. A little bit of that goes towards me to support the channel. If you still can't get enough of me, you can always check me out live on twitch.tv and stay up to date with me on Twitter as well. Now that's going to be it, but I can't say thank you enough for all your support here on the channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.